Back, a new exhibit at the Renton History Museum gives us a peek at the city's past by showcasing fashion and accessories from throughout the 20th century. Curator Sarah Sampson brought artifacts for us to enjoy today, and I have to remember not to touch because <laughs> these are historical artifacts. Tell me a little bit about the exhibit, first of all, what it's meant to cover. So the exhibit's entitled Sparkle, and we just really wanted to look at the social and kind of economic reasons behind how and why people were wearing sparkle throughout kind of the time period. Which is so cool. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about things that were made by women, made by seamstresses. Tell yeah. me about those. So early on, um, mostly it was women hat makers. They were involved in that, and that was one of the first ways people brought sparkle out here to the West. Um, they would put them on their hats because out here there wasn't really much occasion for yeah, fancy clothing. They were clothing. working. Yeah. yeah, so put it on the hat. And, that, and we are looking right now at a turban that's yeah. just extraordinary. Yeah, this hat is from the 1960s, and we paired the 1960s with the 1920s, which seems weird. But if you think about it, both of those decades were incredibly um, energetic with the economy. Mm -hmm. Everybody had a lot of extra money to spend, and you definitely can see it in the in artifacts the from that time period. And who doesn't like an evening bag yeah, with beads, right? right? That's pretty <laughs> incredible. So let's talk also about these these earrings. Yeah, so these come from the 1930s, the Depression, and we paired the 1930s with the 1940s because they were both decades where there was a lot of hardship. Um, there was rationing, and there was obviously the Depression, so and people sacrifice. didn't have a lot of right. money. And so the artifacts in our collection, there are much fewer of them from these time periods, and they're much less ornate. And these are rhinestones, yes, right? Correct. So that was another way yep. in which people were conserving. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are we looking at here? So these are fraternal objects. Um, they're from kind of the secret society clubs that people uh, joined, and they were exclusive. You needed to have somebody vouch for you to enter them. So um, there was a lot of prestige um, about belonging to them, and so people would bling it out and say, hey, I belong to this club. Yeah, okay. This is? That is a man's guard hat from the Odd Fellows from the early 1900s. How, cool. How weird. <laughs> yeah, and if you come see it in the exhibit, uh, it's paired with a tunic that w was worn with it. That's amazing. And since people are not touching, mm -hmm. you do have these kind of little fabric samples for yeah. us to take a look at, and that way we're not <laughs> yep. we're not touching the, the actual garments. But it's very interesting to sort of see the richness of the fabrics from from the times gone by. You also have an empty mannequin, a mannequin that's not dressed with anything, and there's a very important reason why. Yeah, we do, because our collection doesn't represent everybody in Renton and from Renton's history, and so we wanted to explicitly call that out, that there are people missing from this exhibit, and there are people that deserve to be in our museum, and someday we hope that they trust us enough to give us their objects, right. and that we can tell their stories That there, there are more cultures yep. that are mm -hmm. represented here, and that that's very important. What gave you the idea for this? Um, just our collection. We had just this amazing stuff hidden in storage, and we wanted to get it out and share it with the public. And people might think of fashion as, you know, one of those things that isn't incredibly important, but mm -hmm. it really is a cool benchmark, a marker for yeah. the different things that happen in various eras. I like fashion because it's incredibly personal, and when people come in and view fashion exhibits, they really connect because they can see a person wore that mm -hmm. and so it's a much more visceral connection that people have with the past. Such a good point. Thank you so mm -hmm. very much. You can view the Sparkle exhibit Tuesday through Saturday at the Renton History Museum until April 4th, 2020. So for a while, yeah. the first Wednesday and third Saturday of every month are free admission. So go check their other exhibits as well while you're there. More New Day after this.